after six teams have endured these races, it's time for two more to take the test of endurance. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and today we will be having the fourth group of this endurance tournament, the superhero team versus the all-American team. We'll have to see which one will come out on top. I'm interested to see if the superheroes will have some sort of advantage. We could go off here first, Shazam versus the Chrysler. Shazam off to the early lead is more of a sleek car versus the Chrysler which is more of a bulky van type uh, car but really this is about endurance so you really need to stay in the lead for as long as possible but if you go out to the lead too early like we're seeing with the Shazam here he did lose a lot of ground but he's catching up here on the final straight to the final corner and it is Shazam who has come up and take the lead and uh, Shazam will be taking this heat. Let's see what the time was there. 21.90. Next up we have Aquaman versus the Ford GT. These two cars are more similar in terms of shape. They're both more of a sleek car. And it is the uh, Aquaman who is starting to lag behind the GT. Seeing how he can do up in the front in the first half of the race. Somebody has to lead at the first half of the race. It's just who is it? GT is doing a good job at enduring for the remainder of the race. Aquaman is having a hard time catching back up. But uh, GT is a little slow through the corner. Here comes Aquaman. About one space behind. He wasn't able to do it and the GT will advance. 21.94 for that one. Ford Sierra and Superman. Superman. Having to stay on the ground for this tournament. Can't really fly away in this instance. Showing that he can still be pretty fast even if he's grounded. At least in the first half of we entered the second half of this race. Superman is taking the lead by storm. At this point, looking like he's going to take this heat and uh, cross the line. Yes, he will take the heat by a long shot. And I think that was a 20 seconds. Yes, it was. Wow, almost sub 20. 20.03. Power Pistons and the Copa Corvette. Power Pistons looking like a Joker type car. Joker, the arch nemesis of Batman. Not really a superhero. I guess he's still from the same universe, so he was included. Corvette, though, coming up and passing the Joker here. Only about one space apart. Joker wants to come back up and take it. The last corner is crucial. Who'll come out on top? And it's the Joker who comes up and passes Corvette at the last second. Joker will advance. Corvette having some trouble with endurance right in that last turn. The Dodge Charger and the Flash up next. The Flash known for his speed. Can he do good in this tournament? Not, not looking like he's doing good at this point though. Lagging pretty far behind. The All-American team having some difficulty in this tournament so far. They've had one or two cars advance and the superheroes have had around three. It's good to see that they have one here coming up and about to advance. Yes, they do. All-American gets a, another car advanced and the Flash, a very disappointing performance by him. Wasn't even close. All-Americans get 20.79. Pretty good time. Batmobile and the Corvette. Batmobile. An actual car Batman uses. The Corvette. Coming off to the slight lead at the beginning. Batmobile does not want him to get too far ahead though. Corvette is able to snag the uh, long lead now as we enter the second half of this race. Batmobile is starting to have some trouble keeping up with the Corvette, but he's coming up here. Will he be able to catch up in the final corner? Corvette really slow. Batman coming up at the last second. Will he be able to pass? No, he won't. Corvette will go up to uh, the next round. Batman will, unfortunately, be eliminated. Next up, the Corvette and the classic TV Batmobile. 
So this is a more of a classic Batmobile. Bit modded style. Kind of short and blunt. Versus the Corvette, which is longer. Batmobile having some trouble even right in this first half of the race. Corvette is doing a tremendous job. Either that or the Batmobile is just having a terrible job and the Corvette is just doing decent. But at this point, no contest. Corvette will be taking this heat. Batmobile barely just now entering the corner. Corvette gets a time of 20.64. Wow, really far behind by the Batmobile. Let's see if I can count how many seconds there. 20 for the uh, Corvette. Probably around three, four seconds. Aquaman and the Ford GT up next. Aquaman coming out of the water onto land. How does he do on land? At this point, he's falling behind. Corvette still uh, doing good. These Corvettes are really taking these heats pretty, uh, pretty tremendously. Aquaman. Where even is he? There he is. He's really far behind. Ford GT. We'll be taking the seat. I think I called it a Corvette a second ago. That was a mistake, but GT will be taking the seat 22.19. Actually, a pretty slow time, but not as slow as Aquaman. Probably coming in at around 23. All right, now up for the second round. Which cars have advanced so far? Three superheroes and five All-American. The All-American really came up and took charge of the situation in the second half of that first round. First up, we have the Superman and the Charger. They're neck and neck at this point. Charger takes the lead. To the second corner, Superman coming up now. Superman has taken the lead, trying to extend it in the second half of the race. But here comes the Charger, and Charger takes it back. They're neck and neck through the final corner. Who comes out on top? They're neck and neck. Still neck and neck, but it is the Charger who comes out on top one length ahead. With a time of 20.11. Very good time. Will there be a car who gets sub-20? We'll have to see Shazam and the Ford. Through this first straight. Shazam having a little bit of trouble. Ford trying to stay one length ahead of Shazam and now he is starting to take the lead in the second ha half of the race now that he has finished the first half he can focus more on sprinting and less on endurance just has to make sure not to waste all his energy before it gets to the line he's slowing down there Shazam is catching up but the Ford will take it and see this the, the uh, Ford Using up all his energy right to the last second. Next up, Ford GT and the Power Piston, which, again, is Joker. Joker goes up one uh, length ahead already. Here comes the Ford GT. Having some trouble catching back up. And Joker taking this one by storm, unless somehow he slows down. Uh, in this last corner, we'll have to see. We've seen cars do that before. And he does slow down quite a bit there. 4GT takes over. And they're neck and neck. Who comes across the line first? It was the GT, I believe. Very close finish. And it was the 4GT with a time of 21.46. Disappointing for Joker. Now, two Corvettes, 97 and 2020. The old in the new Corvette. Actually, I think it's the 2000 Corvette, not the 2020. Still, one's newer than the other one by three years. And it is the uh, green Corvette coming out to the lead. To the final corner. Slow through there, but the green Corvette is already too far behind and he will take this heat. I'm pretty sure that's the 97 one. The time of 20.37. So many 20s. Will there be a sub 20? 
and All-American has completely wiped out the superheroes from advancing in this tournament. Dodge Charger in the 4 GT. The superheroes completely eliminated. Very surprising. Guess their superpowers weren't fit for racing, especially with all the rules in place, such as no flying force Superman and is the Dodge Charger who is coming out to the lead in this heat. Dodge Charger having a lot of speed there through the final corner. And uh, he'll take the seat. GT is pretty far behind. Another 20, 20.43 20 for the Dodge Charger. Closest we've seen in this video, 20.03. Next up, 97 Corvette and the Ford GT. And the Corvette coming out to the early lead. Will he be able to endure the rest of the race? Just keeping a close eye on him, but right now he's extending his lead. The GT is having some trouble. Corvette doing a great job at this point, but we'll have to see if he starts to lose steam as he gets into this final corner. There still is a chance the GT could come back up, but no, he won't. As the Corvette has a good job through the uh, corner there. Takes this heat 20.33. Now it's time for the final round of this tournament. There will be three rounds and the car that has the fastest time will be the champion of this tournament. Which two cars will it be? The 97 Corvette and the Dodge Charger. Both of these cars have not lost a round in this entire tournament. They're neck and neck at this point. Dodge Charger trying to take the slight edge. But it is the Corvette who comes out in the second half of the race. Corvette still trying to hold the lead coming to this final corner. It is possible he could lose the, lose the lead. And they're neck and neck. Who comes out first? And it's the Dodge Charger who takes it there. 20.08, very close to a sub-20. If anyone was to get a sub-20, it'd be these finalists. Corvette, trying to get a faster time than the Dodge Charger, who only has two more chances to do so. He needs to work on his endurance and stamina. At this point, he's in the lead. Charger is falling back. At this point, the Corvette really taking the lead. Slow through that corner, but these corners are so sharp. It is the uh, Corvette with another 20 seconds. I believe that was either 20.07 or 01. 01.02 seconds off of the sub 20 barrier. This Corvette really is going for the record books here. And uh, at this point, the Dodge Charger pretty much has to get a sub-20. He wants to beat the Corvette. Corvette, though, going for that sub-20 barrier as well. And he is in the lead. Dodge Charger not looking like he's going to be able to pass the Corvette. Corvette slowing down here. Here comes the Dodge Charger. What is the time? 20.02. Another great time by the Corvette. No sub-20. The Corvette will be the champion of this tournament. Best time, 20.01. So close to sub-20. So here are the cars that are advancing to the finals. The uh, All-Americans, the pickups, the exotics, and the NASCAR team. So these are the four teams advancing to the final round. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more races and fun.